What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're giving away another MLB playoff spot promo break. Uh, promo spot, sorry, with this 2023 Topps Chrome Sapphire Baseball 5 box half case break package. Uh, random teams number three. And again, guys, uh, we'll randomize the names. <laughs> Team distribute the hits out of here. Do the five, uh, ten, uh, five box half case break. And then at the end, we'll randomize only the names. Again, <laughs> top name gets into the promo, which we're almost there, guys. Right here. So good luck. We'll do that at the end. Let's do the break first. Randomize the names and teams for the break. Six and a five, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. 11 times, 11 times. Brandon Swim down to Jeremy Port. <clears throat> 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Red Sox down to the Tigers. All right, so Brandon with the Red Sox, Michael with the Marlins, Dustin with the Orioles, David with the Blue Jays, Chris with the Yankees, Jeremy Port with the Reds, Harry with the Giants, Jeremy Port, White Sox, Richard, Royals, Harry Astros, Natalie A's, Jeremy Port with the Twins, Dustin with the Rays, T-Mac with the Cardinals, Tristan with the Braves, Natalie with the Pirates, Michael with the Nationals, Richard with the Dodgers, Tristan with the Diamondbacks, Chris with the Rangers, Jeremy Port with the Padres, Steve with the Brewers, Jeremy Port with the Cubs, Dustin with the Phillies, Tristan with the Angels, Natalie with the Guardians, David with the Mariners, Dustin with the Mets, Rockies, and then Jeremy Port with the Tigers. <clears throat> All right, if anybody wants to trade, I'll leave the trade window open for just a little bit. Also, depending on what hits or doesn't hit, we'll probably post the second half as well, but just remember, it's not going to be a promo break. <clears throat> but, obviously, if there's nothing crazy pulled in this first half, definitely a solid the second half. It looks like the jerseys will sell out right now, so I'm gonna put that on the schedule already too as well. <laughs> and I'll probably take a break right after this, guys. What's up, Trent? All right, trade when to close, guys. No one's gonna trade, right? Um, I don't know. Last year, before the season started, he was predicted a first, first rounder, first maybe second, but. I don't know what they're doing now. I mean, he has the talent, of course, to be a first rounder, but that all just depends on who actually gets drafted at the end of the season, who actually plays better, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? I mean, there's still a lot of football left in college, and then depending on the situation. But yeah, I think he has a first round talent for sure. All right, one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. One. One, two, three. So these five will be for the next break. Yeah, I need, I'm gonna need a little chimichanga. A little, little clown chowder bread bowl. So, you know, porfas. <laughs> That's right, baby. Enjoy it. <coughs> Go one day to each and then maybe split. That I don't know, Mike. I mean, 
<clears throat> the one thing I will tell, say about Bo Nix is that he has the arm strength to, th to make any throw. Alright, that's, that's the good thing. He's mobile enough. And he's a sneaky fast runner. I think for him it's just more like the decision making, you know, and, and obviously, you know, just, just, uh, you know, just slowly getting better with accuracy, which I feel like he has. This is definitely... Oregon Bo Nix version has been the best of his career, though. Like, he's played so much better. You know, or, and at Auburn, he had flashes. I mean, come on. I mean, remember, Auburn isn't a little chump program. I mean, he's pretty solid, so he can play ball. But <laughs> I think it's just more like leaving Auburn. I, mean, I think he had a lot of pressure. I think his dad went to Auburn, and all he ever wanted to do was be an Auburn Tiger. And, you know, just didn't work out and decided to, you know, restart his career for the Oregon, but yeah, I just think he's one of those prototypic, prototypical quarterbacks that you know, as long as they got the arm strength and the accuracy, decision making, and they can run they, they, they can definitely play, they can play in the NFL, that, that's what it's like now, right? I mean, you gotta be able to run nowadays you know, Penix is a baller, his accuracy is so good he has a cannon of an arm that dude could just sling it he's mobile enough you know so he'll be he'll be definitely a top prospect as well, but I think Bonix is just a tad bit faster when it comes to speed, but but Penix obviously is just a baller too. I mean Caleb is like the next Patrick Mahomes, you know. So I mean at the same time, like it all just depends on everybody's quarterback situations, right? Everybody's thinking Patriots are gonna restart, right? You know. <laughs> Rams could be looking to actually maybe get a quarterback for the future, right? Matthew Stafford is gonna play forever. You know, there could be other teams like the Bears might restart their, their whole thing. And then, you know, crazy to say this, but, you know, obviously the Jets, I know they have Aaron Rodgers for another year after this. But you would have to think if if uh, if a uh, if Rodgers only plays one more year, I don't know if they're going to roll with Zach. They, they could be thinking of drafting a quarterback. Maybe not high first round, or maybe second. Because some of these quarterbacks are going to fall in the second round. Imagine if you have Caleb going out, you have Penix going out, you have Bo Nix going out, you got, you know, Drake May going out, you know, amongst other quarterbacks that are pretty good. Yeah, Raiders could restart their whole quarterback process. There could be a lot of different teams that will be in need. Cardinals. <clears throat> um, but yes, Penix injury history is crazy. He has like two torn ACLs or torn shoulder, all this stuff. So obviously not good going into the NFL, but he has been healthy for the last few years. So that's a good thing. But that, that could be dangerous down the line. Imagine tearing your ACL again after having a couple already. I know, Oliver. They're good, man. I mean, I don't, I don't like to just say they're good because I love them, but they're great. And USC blows. I think a lot of people have to realize they're, they're delusional fans if they say they're really good. Now, this is the first time where I feel like USC's defense have actually played decent. But Caleb is actually the problem today. He thinks he needs to do too much, and he's forcing a lot of these throws. And again, running around for his life, like always. But yeah, I'm, I, I know they're better than USC. <laughs> USC is very, very overrated. Imagine when USC has to go up against Washington's offense. Watch Washington put up 80 points on them in the first half. <laughs> That's literally what's going to happen. Washington's going to score 80 in the first half. So yeah, it just sucks that Oregon ended up losing that game the way they did because now for them to potentially get a national championship, hope, playoff, hope, they have to win out. <laughs> they have to maybe hope Washington loses a game or two. Or, like I said, they have to hope that a couple of the top 10 teams start losing a game or two. So that way, they can maybe squeeze in. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'm okay with the Rose Bowl berth. It'll be the last time really this year that the Rose Bowl will even matter. Since Pac-12 will be gone next year. Oh yeah, Denver. Giants not yet, Tristan. They just they just paid uh they just paid um uh Daniel Jones. They're kind of on the Eagles track. So when they paid Carson Wentz, they paid him. 
had a horrible year. Well, actually not a horrible year. He actually made the playoffs, but he got injured. Didn't even get to really play in the playoff game. Then, second year of getting that big contract is when they drafted Jalen Hurts. That's, that's where all the controversy happened, right? I think the Giants are going to stay a little loyal. They'll give him this year, maybe next year. But after that, they're done, if it doesn't improve. <clears throat> All right, here we go, guys. But yeah, a lot of quarterback opening is going to happen in the NFL, guys. Corbin Carroll. Johnny Cueto. I know, man, but they just gave him a big contract. It'd be so hard for any team to want to pick him up or even take on that contract. So they're going to have to roll with him for at least two years. Then they can try to get rid of his contract. Just kind of like the Eagles did, honestly. But, I mean, obviously... Um, Howie Roseman's a wizard. Howie Roseman's a wizard and was able to get once for a get rid of once for a first rounder. Bailey Falter for the Phillies. That's going to Dustin. And a purple. Tyrone Taylor to ten from Milwaukee. Going to Steve. I mean, how crazy is this? What if actually the Bears end up drafting number one and two, and they draft Caleb at one, and they draft Marvin Harrison Jr. at two? How quickly does that change the franchise? We have a heavy hitters catch up. And again, that is an Angels card, guys, when you go look at the checklist. So that's going to go to the Angels, which is going to Tristan. Nice Oscar Colas. Adley. I know, Tris. I, I get what you're saying, bro, but they just paid him too much money. <laughs> they just paid him too much money. There's just no way anybody's going to take that right now. They have to roll with him for one more year. At least, and definitely for the rest of this year. That's kind of the problem. Unless they find a fucking trade suitor to, to take his contract on, they're going to have to keep him. I guess they could still draft a quarterback, but he's going to be on the team. <laughs> Highest big backup, I guess, right? <laughs> Breaking history. Getting paid $45 million to sit on the bench. Brad Miller to 50. I mean, I guess, look, look at the 49ers approach, right? They had their big guy they were paying in Garoppolo. They weren't paying much for Trey Lance. And then ended up getting, oh, obviously, Garoppolo walked out of 25. They traded Lance, and then they ended up going with a quarterback that's getting paid, like, probably not even a million dollars a year. But again, for the 49ers in that situation, they're golden for at least, what, two more years? This year and next year? Because after that, if they don't win a Super Bowl, White Sox, they're going to have to pay Brock Purdy. And uh, there goes all the money. So the, the 49ers window is like literally right now, like out of any team because they're so good. Now the Eagles, obviously, thankfully, they already paid Hurts. And there's people already getting paid way more than Hurts will. They basically locked up everybody. <laughs> they locked up everybody for the next like three, four years, so. They got a couple years. But I think for the 49ers, they must win now. John's in India. I mean, yeah, I think you're right, though. If the Giants end up drafting number one and then Caleb's there, yeah, I think you draft Caleb. I don't think you pass up on him. But I'm just looking at it from the financial standpoint for the Giants. It's just it's going to be tough for them to get rid of Daniel Jones if he doesn't play well this year. All right, last box here, guys. Good luck. Chris Bubik. Chris Bubik. 
Nick Gordon to 50? Got another purple coming up. Michael Brantley. And it's George Springer to 10. All right, guys. Well, I feel like there wasn't anything crazy special in this first half. Nice purple. You know, an orange. Adley. Colos was really cool. My like Corbin Carroll. But a lot of colors, not really rookies, though. So, of course, the second half can be pretty good, guys. Now, again, the second half is not going to be a promo break, but I'll repost it up. But, <laughs> but now let's switch scenes. Let's do this playoff giveaway. Number one gets it. Two and one, three times. One, two, three. Three times, three, three. Just missing out was Jeremy Poor. But Richard Miller, you are the winner. Congratulations. And uh, Richard, I don't even know who you had. Who'd you have? You have the Royals. So there you go. Sapphire winner there. So just down to three more breaks, guys. Update, Diamond Icons, and NT. Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.